So welcome everybody to the open Zoom meeting. So nice to see you all, Patricia, Lila, Rosa, sweetheart, Garrett, Jeannie. Nice picture there, I love it. <laughs> Going to the mountains there, beautiful, very arty. Well, you know, what is this about? <laughs> well, it's, it's not about um, something, nor is it about nothing. I mean, um, thinking this is about something or nothing is already basically what is happening. So thinking that this is about something which I can get and with this so-called knowledge I can get free is already just simply this. So it's about everything and it's about nothing. It doesn't matter. Thinking it's about something or about nothing is already just completely this. So there's, the suggestion is that there's simply the direct directness of whatever is happening or what seems to be happening, sitting in a Zoom meeting, seeing beautiful faces, bodies making movements. And well, there's already no you to be found. There's already no you. This is already you-less, whatever is happening, even the sense there is a me sitting here and looking out to these eyes it has already nothing to do with you, there's no one owning this. There's no you as a separated being, which is hidden from this or which is behind this or which is inside of this or outside of this. There is not even an inside or an outside or a B sides of this. At the same time, claiming that there is an inside or an outside is already just simply this. And the, the resonating, the so-called resonating with this suggestion may just simply stop or intensify or dissolve or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's no one doing the resonating. No one is owning these suggestions or the words. No one is doing it. That's just simply this, sitting in a Zoom meeting, enjoying or not enjoying, thinking it's becoming very boring. Anything may happen, crying, arguing. <laughs> um, yeah, just this. This is it. And there's not even an it. What the beauty. There isn't a thing called this. Um, there isn't a thing called life. There isn't a it. There's nothing to be found at the same time. Showing a, a glass and saying, well, I found something is already this. It's not a thing. It's, it's just simply a no thing and not even a no thing. <laughs> so welcome, everybody. Um, nice to see you. Um, yeah, here's just the interest to, to chat, to, you know, to to explore and to suggest and to whatever, whatever's happening. So anyone wants to share something? I start with you, Leela. How, how are you doing? I'm good. Can you hear me? Yes. Loud and clear. That was beautiful, Sander. <laughs> Thank you. You, um, yeah, please share if there's anything which is coming up. I, I saw, I heard a music uh, someone did. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was. That was really nice. He asked if he could feature me in a song. Uh, 13 Paris Vandals is the name of the band. That was fun. <laughs> is it um, an American band? Uh, I think he is British. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure where he's from, but European. <laughs> it's just an ordinary day here. Just glittery bullshit, <laughs> as usual. Uh, I, I saw your interview with um, uh, Silence. Silence. With Zukdev. Zuk yes, yes, yes. I, I laughed and laughed. That was so fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it's a sweet guy. I, I really, um, it was a really nice interview. Although, you know, there was an, 
there was like a bleeding of the ears when when there was a, a speaking about sages and all that and so-called <laughs> characters who has realized anything or something um you know <clears throat> it's not seen like that here but you know that's just what's happening you know the but sweetheart, sweetheart, I told you don't take it too seriously, okay? It's just a performance. <laughs> oh yeah, well, totally. But it's hard to to not do anything in the absence of you doing something already. So, you know, this, <laughs> <laughs> this so-called bleeding of the ears is just uh, is just innocently happening. There's no no here. There's no issue with whatever. At the same time, it's beautiful. I mean, um, it's just a sweet, you know, a sweet guy um you know wanting to help people by talking about non-duality and um yeah i really enjoyed it yeah well, it's, it's uh, nice to hear leela that you uh enjoyed it What's yeah that? sorry go ahead oh i was done <laughs> was was there was there anything special which um which was coming up like in the talk I don't know if many more people have seen this talk. It's coming out on Friday. I guess he, Rosa put it out already, but I think <laughs> um, he's putting it out on Friday. So I was wondering, was there anything special, Leela, which, which was like there, so to say, or? Just the dance of it all, you know, the three of you talking and <laughs> reacting to each other. It was just fun. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Catherine, nice to see you again. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to be here. Thank you, Rosa, for uh, forwarding the link. <laughs> That's a long time ago we've seen you. I mean, at least, uh, yeah, it seems some time ago. How are you doing? Tell me. Yeah. Um... I guess in a strange place, I've seemed a bit lost, liking and disliking the message. And yeah, it's, uh, I, I feel shaken in a way, you know, when you start hearing, it's not good news. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so. And you get fed up with the, the language used as well. And I can say that now, and then in 10 minutes on in another Zoom or whatever, I could be saying something very different. So yeah, it's a, uh, feeling a bit lost really. So yeah, not knowing. Yeah, it's, it's a bit sort of scary as well, yeah. Love listening to Jeannie. <laughs> Yeah, hey Jeannie, so cool that you showed up. You you're not going to stay the whole time, so so cool. Aww, very cool. Thank but you. Thank you for inviting me. Very cool. Yay, I'm excited. <laughs> what, what are you saying, Rose? Are you saying to Jeannie she's not going to stay the whole time? Yeah, she she told me that she cannot stay the whole time. Okay. So I was thinking you're going to send her away or something. No. Well, sweetheart. <laughs> I get in timeout. <laughs> 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 Having too much fun. Um, yeah, I have another Zoom coming up that I have to charge the phone for. It's about to die and I need to run home and eat and stuff. So thank you. Cool to see you and look forward to our chat on Thursday, girl. Yay, definitely. Oh. Yay. Catherine, sweetheart, I love your openness. It's cool that you boom out like this. I love it. And uh, here it was the same. Nothing to hide. That's it already. Being lost, being scared, boom, that's it. So what? Yeah, I mean, they're more, you know, I think Don can maybe relate, you know, uh, the liking and a disliking at the same time, you know, um, it can just swiftly change from I'm fed up with it. And then 10 minutes later, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, it's different. Like you said, I don't know what's going to happen next. Well, it's already it's already the case. It's already just simply this. Whatever is happening, the, the liking, the not liking, the you know the int the getting interest or losing interest. It just 
it's just this dancing around, you know, it, it's free to be whatever, whatever it is, so to say. Um, yeah, I, I really appreciate the openness there, Catherine, beautiful. And um, I think there are many so-called um, characters who can relate to this. Yeah, it's, it, it, can, it can feel quite, uh, yeah, quite painful and uh, it's like an earthquake or a thunderstorm or, or whatever, where there's this feeling of uh, powerlessness, helplessness, and it's like, what the heck did I sign? <laughs> did I sign for this? I'm not sure. <laughs> So yeah, this uh, yeah, it's, yeah and it, it it's hard to to put a finger on it. It's like you, you lose belief, but then there's still a you that loses belief, you know, in stuff. And uh, yeah, it's. Um, Anyway, I'll, I'll listen. <laughs> listen. Well, there's nothing. You can talk. You, you, I mean, um, just, you know, there's no, uh, you can just talk if you want. Please share. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> That's it. Great. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so anything can, can, basically um, seems to happen you know um the sense of um you know loss and the sense of gain and i don't want this anymore sadness happiness it all just simply arises you know even the sense that what the hell am i doing may just simply happen but there's you know it's there's already no one behind it it's just just playing freely and um, well, that's just another idea, so to say. Um, it doesn't help. Uh, we can say it's all just a belief, mm -hmm. just beliefs. And there's no one, you know, behind it. There's no one owning the belief. Well, that's just basically another belief, so to say. Um, yeah, from, from what you say uh, here, it feels like the... Uh... <laughs> I'm I'm being thrown off the throne where I used to be <laughs> used to have like a position and I thought I was leading my life and everything is coming it's like in a way it feels like it's tumbling down and you don't know what to hold. It's like you want to hold on to safety in a way, you know. So um, yeah, it's quite destabilizing. Um, and and in a way, that's I've no idea if it leads to anything or, or not. So even this, oh my gosh, everything's taken away. Do you know? It's uh, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, Catherine, sweetheart, if you like, you can message me. I'm free this week, okay? So we can we can yeah. see things all together. I, I don't tend to reach out. Well, that's it. You know, everything is all, always been lived in a way fully F from childhood. That you learn that the, well in the story. Yeah, there's. Um, that's how it seems to be anyway, but beautiful. Thank yes. you, Sander. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for your openness. Beautiful. Anyone wants to say something? Anyone has a need to maybe Don? I was just going to say that it can appear to be devastating, but even that is emptiness appearing as a sensation of devastating like the when it appears that there's a gradual death it's almost like it can appear that you're at your own funeral <laughs> and everything's just falling away and 
there's nothing to hold on to. It's like jumping out of an airplane without a parachute. It's just like, ah, but at the same time, so freeing, you know, it's, it's amazing. Devastatingly free. <laughs> Yeah, we, we hear this often. That's just the free fall. I mean, you know, there's no one falling. There's nowhere to land, you know. When I hear you say, I wonder what this is leading to. I mean, it's not leading to something else, you know. It's not leading to something which is not this already. At the same time, thinking that this maybe leads to freedom, is already just freedom. It's already what it is. Um, yeah. Yes, thank you both. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. It's, it's the, it is the, the, the fear. <laughs> it is the falling, not falling to somewhere, it is, yeah. Yeah. And in a way, it's the, the, the fear that is speaking this way. Um, well, I don't know. I'm just repeating something I've heard that it feels like that. <laughs> it's so, yeah, anyway. Yeah. You're such a sweetheart, Catherine. It's good to see you again. Oh, yeah, I've been off. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Garrett, how are you doing this week? Nice to see you again. I missed you last week, right? You were not there. No, I went to London with my wife. Ah. You want to see my daughter. My daughter lives there. And, uh, yeah. yeah I, I was guessing there was maybe a football match. No, I don't follow the football anymore, really. Perhaps the World Cup, because the wife likes the watching Poland playing and the international games. But no, I've lost my... Uh, Interest in domestic uh, football now. Uh, no, it's the same old thing all the time. And uh, yeah, uh, I've listened to quite a number of uh, talks of yours and roses with various uh, new people, and um, they're always very interesting talks. Um, When we were in London, we went to um, have a bit of lunch at the Hari Krishna place. Do you know the Hara, Hari Krishna people? Yes. I thought if I couldn't get this non-duality thing, maybe me and the wife could join the uh, Hari Krishna as a second place, you know. But, oh, uh, yeah. But, uh, Beautiful. Yeah, betting on two horses. It's smart, you know. I mean, if you don't get the non-dual stuff, you can get maybe the blessing from Hare Krishna. Who knows? I yeah, mean, yeah. so and natural. They're, they're very nice people. Um, you know, they're also happy. And uh, when we left, the uh, one the lady said, would you like a banana to go with you? And uh, the wife said, you're, you're brainwashed, <laughs> to me, you know. <laughs> She don't like any of this stuff, and uh, but no, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe if I get this non-duality, um, it'll be good. But if I can't, maybe. Uh, yeah, can't Garrett, think. Garrett, I'm very happy that your wife is taking care of you. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well. <laughs> It's it's hard, Garrett, to 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 get you know non-duality or to get, you know, there's not a thing called non-duality, or you to get it. I mean, so we can say it's already 
this is already non-duality. There's nothing else. There's just simply already not to. It's just whatever is happening. It's this is already not gettable. There's no handles here. You know, it has no edges. Yeah, it's a Zoom meeting is not gettable. You cannot take the Zoom meeting and put it in your pocket and put it on the in the closet at home. You know, it's already just completely fully this. There's no borders. But yeah, of course, trying to get, you know, trying to get something is already, is already this. Yeah, I, I've heard that, um, you know, I could, I could fill in all the, uh, the missing uh, thoughts. Yeah, I, I know everything that the speaker is going to say back next, but um, I still feel that I'm missing out with something. Uh, Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. like it. Yeah, I mean, it's so beautiful, you know, the sense of missing out. It's, you know, this, this sense I'm missing something, you know, may just simply stop. You know, there's nothing wrong with the sense of, of, of missing something or wanting to get something. This, this may, you know, it may intensify. It may become, you know, very crazy, you know, like, watching everything you know going to all the temples and watching every meetings or it may just simply drop this sense of i'm missing something may just simply stop yes. there's nothing wrong with the, the sense that you're you're missing something it's just what is and you know there may be a sense well i am missing something you know it's me it's for me who is missing something and that sense of you know, being a center is just simply what is. There's already no one, you know, owning that sense of a center or doing that sense of a center. And this the sense of a center or the lack of the sense of a center is already just simply this. It's, there's nothing wrong. Yes. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Given it a good shot, and uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, but I don't smile like everybody else uh, smiles, and uh, well, but it it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter, dear Garrett. I mean, you know, there's you know, there's just bodies smiling or crying or laughing or whatever. You know, it's so. That's it, you know, and uh, I mean, there may be an idea. Well, one day when I get it, maybe I will smile like the rest. Yes. Yeah. But there, there's already no one smiling. There's, you know, there's just this smiling. There's just a body, you know, having a certain posture or smiling or walking or, you know, putting in food. Gareth, Gareth, you mean with not smiling the seriousness, right? Yes, taking life too seriously. Okay, the heaviness. The yeah, heaviness in continues this. continues as it mm -hmm. always um... Yeah, well, that's it. So what? Yeah, I guess there's yeah, nothing mm -hmm. one can do about it. If there's no one, there's nothing one can do. Yeah. Oh. Well, at the same time, everything can be done. Yeah. It's everything. It's simply everything. You can maybe no talk about, maybe yeah. less serious. Maybe there's a course in less seriousness. I mean, you know, there may be an idea, well, let's let's try to be less serious, you know. Or maybe let's meet Garrett and just laugh for one hour together. Why not? Just for fun. <laughs> What did you say? I missed what you said. Just meet and laughing together for one hour. Meet. Yeah. You mean um, from a speaker, from a, in a one-to-one -one viewing? Yeah, like just meeting, for example, here with me, and we can laugh the whole time. Yes. I, I can meet. tell you one joke after the other, and ah. then we can laugh. So. <laughs> I think I will be like uh, Don, you know, I will be uh, too scared to uh, accept the <laughs> offer. But uh... <laughs> now it's the second one. Oh, boys, come on. 
maybe Don <laughs> wants to show himself, you know, and interact. Yeah, Don, thumbs up. Well, I love the seriousness, Gary. Me too. Me too. Love it. You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong there with, with serious. You know, it's not about being serious or not being serious. You know, seriousness may arise. You know, being serious in a certain so-called situation may happen. Being not serious in a certain so-called other situation may happen. There's nothing wrong with seriousness. Seriousness is just seriousness. And, you know, there may be a problem, you know, there may be a, a sense, well, I don't like it. I don't like the seriousness of mine. This needs to change. And this may, you know, it may just simply stop. The need to be, you know, more more funny or less serious may just simply stop this need. The needs and wants are just dancing freely. Yeah, it does uh changes it does change sometimes you're a bit down and sometimes you're feeling great you know it, it is like that uh, i can see that but um, yeah so you're not the whole time serious sweetheart not all the time no yeah so, so what a beauty you know i really think like the real problem is that there is no problem when we went to london for the uh, couple of days last week it was so busy and you see so many people, uh, um, as you imagine, and uh, there's no time to be. Um, uh, can keep my uh, speak because you're, you're, so, you're doing something all the time, you know, having a good look, going round and round. And uh, but when it's all finished and you come back home, you you feel you're back to the old fashioned, uh, the old uh, style, and. Uh, uh, going to do something to uh, what's the word? Um, since I had that stroke, I can't keep my conversation going very well. Why are you doing fine, my friend? Well, then take your time. Best, but, uh, yeah, take your time. There's no need to rush. Just take your time to <clears throat> come on to your words. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, in in London. In some streets, you know, you see the poor chaps, you know, down on the floor. I don't know, are they, you know, drugs or just very, I don't know, money or whatever, but it, it's a pity to see them. And only around the corner in the next street, uh, you see these, uh, these posh houses and cars in Chelsea, these, uh, you know, the, uh, the Lotus and Ferrari and Mercedes. And, and it's, you can't imagine uh, such a uh, difference, you know, like that, all, just from one place to the next. And it uh, gets you down when you see one sort of thing. And then when you see a lovely scene, you feel great, you know. It, um, Yeah, I don't know. I, I always get a bit down if I see people down and about and feel better when you see the opposite, you know, but uh, yeah, but it's nice when I hear you say that things are real and non-real. It helps if I see something a bit disappointing, you know, unhappy to see and you think, oh, well, it's not real anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I can uh, look, look at it like that, you know. The, the poor chap who's sat on the floor, you know, it's hard to say, well, it's not real, but compensates it a little bit, you know. Yeah, I don't know quite where I'm getting to now on this, but... Uh, It's so natural, you know, to, to, you know, to maybe see people in a, in a good shape, you know, mm -hmm. and, and trying to, to polish this by saying it's not, not happening. It's not real, you know, may, may simply happen. Although it, it doesn't, it doesn't make, it doesn't make it go away. 
No. You know, you can say a thousand times to, to somebody sitting on the street that it's not happening, but it doesn't make him rich. No, no. Right? Yeah, and if you take life too seriously, um, well, everything would get you down the six o'clock news or, you know, so I went, uh, went through a phase that I didn't turn on the six o'clock news for fear that would be seen next, you know. Uh, Yeah, getting down may, may getting, you know, the feeling of I'm down may happen. It's so natural to, you know, to avoid certain situations. Not turning on the TV. I don't want to see this. This may happen. Trying to avoid, you know, it's like trying to avoid hitting your finger with a hammer. It's quite natural. Yeah. But at some point, this may just simply stop, you know. There may be just a certain type of equanimity. Yeah. Or, or a certain type of who cares? Well, if I say I, oh, I, I don't care, it feels like you're not, um, Helping, you know. Uh... Well, it's it's funny. It's not so much about caring or not caring. This is not, you, you know, it's not a state of not caring, so to say. Caring, not caring may just simply happen. Caring, you know, for your, for your neighbors or for your children or for other people may just simply happen. And, you know, this caring may just stop. You know, caring or not caring may happen. There's already no one doing the caring. No, no, yeah. There's all, already not anyone doing the caring, able to move in a state of non-caring. It's just simply whatever is happening, caring, not caring, liking, not liking, certain needs. It just plays freely. You know, even the idea that there is a you having that need, you know, may just simply arise until it doesn't. Yeah. Now I run out of what to say. Yeah. The battery is empty. Battery is empty. Yeah. Thank you, Garrett. Always such a joy to to listen to your sharing about the wife and the trips. Mm. Let me see if I can get Don out tonight. Don, you want to share something? Okay. I was wondering, you know, how close you are to enlightenment, if there is any progress in the if you're any nearer to this uh, enlightenment state you were talking about. Okay, great. <laughs> Thumbs up. Well, that's good. Um, I saw Tara and Matt. Um, I saw the camera, they're on for some time. Anyone wants to share something there? Hello. 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 <clears throat> One moment, trying to get the camera back on. <clears throat> this is Matt's first Zoom with you. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, I saw. I saw you guys in the room, so I was wondering. It's always good yeah. to see see people instead. You, you turned on the camera, but I didn't know. You know the camera was on. <laughs> so we're trying to turn it back on. It's a bit slow. You can talk, Matt. Yeah. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you, Matt. Yeah. 
Yes. Anything coming up? Or I've joined other. Sorry, go ahead. Say that again. Well, I, I saw. Oh, no, I'm just saying I joined. <laughs> I think that's a, 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 no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead first. <laughs> I think there's a delay on the line. I saw some beautiful pictures there on the Facebook, right? Yeah. 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 Just uh, around here on the coastline and here and there. It's nice. It's nice on the island here. So quite a, quite a few beautiful places here. So traveling around a little bit so it's nice yeah yeah <laughs> for sure yeah <laughs> these bodies want to move <laughs> they keep wanting to move yes you you want to share something uh, hmm. no uh yeah that's a good question because i i really don't know <laughs> at the moment i don't know yeah yeah I'm, i know i put you a little bit on the spot with such a question it's always like no the mind goes like no, it's okay. oh. I, yeah a bit of a blank <laughs> that's great yeah yeah. Judith, sweetheart, how are you doing? Always in the chair? Outside? Hi. Hi. Yeah, my favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> Outside? Yeah. How are you doing, Judith? Great. You guys were on the Wonderful. Trip, right? Or last time. Yeah, just around yeah, just around New England, yeah. Couple of states. Yeah, so yeah, beautiful. Back home again. Back home and listening to this amazing channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a joy to see you again. Thank you. Same. Always the big mm. smile there. <laughs> yeah, here there's just the you know there's such a joy to to be able to to interact and to to share. You know, even when there's no one as an actual separated someone doing the talking, there just seems to be the the this just seems to be the love for this expression. And um, you know, this may just stop, you know, doing zooms and going to zooms and having a channel may just simply stop. Um you never know what's next. Anything may happen. Maybe, you know, next week uh, there's a nice Netflix series going on, which is more interesting. Vikings I like, but uh, I've seen them all, so it's probably be hard. <laughs> no, but anything can happen. This, you know, it's already free to be whatever. Liking uh, these types of suggestions or reading Eckhart Tolle or, you know, reading Nisargadatta, it may just simply come and go. Um, there's no one separated as a you or me doing the coming and going. That's just simply this. Jeannie, bye-bye. Oh, she's gone already. Yeah, so that's just simply this. This is it. Tuesday night, sitting in front of a screen, seeing a bunch of beautiful faces and really enjoying it. Nothing more to say. 
Rosa girl, come on. You always have something <laughs> to say. I can always talk. I can always talk. I enjoyed today very much a German talk with Sven. It's a friend of mine. He is also speaking uh, like we do, but in German. And I can simply see the difference, like the different uh, stuff playing out in German. And yeah, it, it's funny. It's funny. Yes, exactly as I am. Very crazy, stupid, impulsive, I love to say. Um, there is really no fucking clue what's coming out here that is next. And since there is no next, and there is really no caring what's coming out, um, which is it already. And uh, yeah, I had today uh, an interesting chat already yesterday. I'm in touch with a Buddhist monk from Bangladesh. He is 25 years old. He messaged me. And since I have now this free time this week, I'm open for, for everything. And um, he was like uh, very straight ahead going like, please take your time for me. I have a question. I was like, okay, 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 let's chat. <laughs> This was so funny. I love booming characters. And I already had a couple of them, Indian and Buddhist monks. It's interesting. And uh, he turned out to be a little philosopher. So this was fun. I was simply taking him on the way to shopping him back with me, blah, blah. And he, he, he tends to, he tends to say, listen, listen, like straight, you know, just no matter what I say, listen. And I, and I was like, booming out. Stop. You listen now. <laughs> After this, what I'm saying, I will hang up the phone. That's it. And he was like, no, no. <laughs> this was so funny. This was so funny. And I finally said to him, you know what? I don't want to philosophize about life. For me, it's simple. It's just what is. Boom. And uh, yeah, it was very cool. Very cool. And I, of course, I told him, I can totally get him uh, that there is, there was a time here also where I totally um, um, kind of wanted to know what this is. What is this about? And a lot of questions came up. Why? 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 And uh, that I can only see the perfection in this. But he simply could not stop and simply wanted to 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 go and I was like, sorry, I, I cannot tell you anything. I don't, I don't know anything. And he was like, no, you know, there is wisdom. And you simply could see the religious background they're running. And um, yeah, that's it. But it, it's fun. It's fun. So at the end, both of us are smiling and uh, nothing happened. <laughs> so can we expect a, a, a talk? Are you going to do a, a chat? Because you're chatting a lot with... Uh, in a way, in a way, he suggested something like this, but I don't know. Here is no, um, here are a lot of chats. I'm not sure really because it's more philosophizing, and I'm not that much into this. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. But this was fun. I just wanted to share. Great. Hey, and um, tell us about Sven. You said Sven, yeah. He he wanted different. Different. What? What? How you mean different? It's, it's uh, in the sense, different. Um, the language is different. The language is different. The expression is different. Um, I can, um, what, what to say? It's, no, it just like, you know, it just came out here. It's, it was simply different, a little bit different. It's not like, you know, yeah. Oh, but cool, cool. So there are also interest uh, people who are interested in Zooming, like we do now, German, in German. And uh, maybe I'm going for this, do a couple of Zooms in German. So this is going to be a mixture. And yeah, why not? Here's this openness and it's about nothing. It's just, just as you said, sweetheart, just like the joy to meet friends, to chat, no matter what. Ordinary just is. Very simple and direct. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what else? What else? <laughs> Patricia, sweetheart. Any sweet words there from Scotland?
Well, I've been sort of contemplating and wondering what's, what's going on here. And it's like, I find it really difficult to speak up for myself. Patricia, sweetheart, what do you mean with this? To speak up for yourself. Take your time, Patricia. I don't know, I don't know if it's where it stems from. It's like I hate getting the sort of focus put on myself. Um, I don't know if it stems from child, I don't know. I don't know what it is, it's, but I know that there's something stuck here. I don't know. I've just had it all my life. Not been able to speak my truth. You know, when I say my truth, just what feels right for me. And then I just, because I can't do that, I just, I'd just be a submissive. Just to keep the peace and afraid, afraid to say anything. Yeah. And here you are opening up, sweetheart. I know I've just felt I've had to. Because there's been something there keeping me back. And I mean, in a a level of being, not a me, not a, not a me. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, for all the years, 20 odd years, a spiritual teacher came to Edinburgh and it was not me that had to go and see him, it was just this, this had to go and see him. And all this time, going in groups as well, I just, I just close up, I just clamp up and I can't find any words, I can't. I can't find any words to say. And the more I'm in this energy, I know I have to, this has got to, you know, be exposed basically. Because there's no hiding place.
there, there are probably anyone who can relate to this, anyone who wants to share something. Catherine, maybe, sweetheart. Yeah, I mean, actually, it's as soon as you started to cry, that's that was your speech, you know. It's just so so freeing. I, I've, I've realized even uh, crying or feeling depressed. Um, I think there was this belief of uh, it's wrong. Depression is wrong. And then suddenly realized, no, that's what I really want. <laughs> I really want depression and there's like and when it's allowed it's wow it's it's beautiful as well as the tears you know and uh, and who knows about the past and not speaking up not daring to to speak up and that uh, yeah it's, who, who knows because it's it's speaking up uh, happening now Sometimes it's just being with the right crowd, <laughs> you know, not, it's just, uh, yeah, if, we, if we're stuck up or feeling stuck up, the, the stories can seem really convincing, you know, I, yeah, I've been there. I mean, some some stress in some jobs has actually helped open up um, here. Some really, really stressful situation in a job. Suddenly swearing came up. And my gosh, I never realized how positive swearing could be. <laughs> it was just like, wow, this is great. <laughs> And um, yeah, and then uh, swearing completely loses its, oh my gosh, can't swear, you know, that's bad. It just, it, it's just such a full on expression of anger or stress. Anyway, that's just the little bit. <laughs> so yeah, actually it's really nice, Patricia. Um, yeah, nice to, to hear you and share. The same with Gareth, uh, you know, being serious. Yeah, but, but it, serious, being serious is fine. It's when other people say you're too serious or you feel that you, you can't be part of the party because you, you don't feel the joy or the, the fun. And the, I mean, there's something beautiful about that as well, you know. Yes. And uh, yeah, when when you speak, Gareth, there's such a beautiful quietness and uh, soft voice. You know, I I can't laugh all the time. Yeah, sometimes, but yeah. So, thing every character's different, you know. So anyway, <laughs> it's my sharing. Yeah. That's right. Thank you for your kind yeah, words. Thank you. Yeah, that's just the expression. This is free to express however it seems to come, you know, sadness, crying, you know, feeling that something is stuck. And then suddenly it may just simply shift. It may just stop. It may just explode into tears. Thank you all once again. Um, time is up. I got to pick up the wife in a few minutes, and uh, I'll see you next time. Yeah. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you for tonight. Yeah. Thank you again. Wife yeah. said. Leela, sweetheart, anything there? Depression. We we did a talk with you. Anything which was coming up there? <clears> Hearing <throat> Patricia's. Yes, I, um, I've always been a people pleaser, and it was debilitating, uh, the depression and anxiety. I, 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 I would avoid people because I would let them run all over me, and um, I basically thought I was the scum of the earth, and I put everybody on a pedestal.
I don't know why, but that's just how my, you know, personality uh, developed. And um, it never occurred to me that it was actually okay to feel that way, to be that way. Um, until this, you know, this last year and now. When, whenever that stuff comes up, it's there and I feel it, I feel it fully. And then it just kind of passes really quickly. Um, when before I would say, I would say I should not feel this way. I should be stronger. I should do this or that and, or express myself more. Um, and it would linger because it's like, I wasn't allowing it to happen. I mean, I know all that's a story, but it's the best way I can sort of describe Yes, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. You're not alone, Patricia. <laughs> I really enjoyed uh, Catherine's words too. It, I was like, yeah, because it's, uh, I remember feeling that way. Everything you said, it was like I was saying it. <laughs> yeah it's so relatable you know with these sharings there's always someone who can relate in a certain way to some extent that's the beauty i mean uh, you know that's also the openness you know that nothing everything is allowed so to say Patricia, sweetheart, how do you feel now? Better? Um, so, so, but just when Leela was speaking there that she felt like she was a scum. Years ago, I went to um, a weekend retreat with a spiritual teacher. And um, the night before I went, I had this dream that was in this cage and I couldn't get out of the cage. Anyway, um, when it came to the, the meeting, um, I told him about, about the dream. And then all of a sudden this energy was coming up through the body and all I was hearing was scum, scum of the earth. And it was just horrendous, absolutely horrendous. It shook me for months afterwards. And just at the end of the weekend, I managed to get, you know, and speak to him and tell him that this is what happened. And he said, well, that's what you're carrying. So was that a belief I had about this? Just with Leela saying that, it just remind, remind, reminded me of what happened that time. So, yeah. So, I don't know, just to wait and see what happens. Yeah, I can just feel it and, you know, just sitting there. But it's fine. Yes. So, yeah. so beautiful, Patricia. So beautifully open and honest. Love it. Direct. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong, you yeah. know, Patricia, with you know whatever is coming. Even the idea that it's wrong is already oh. just what it is. The sense of not being worthy. I didn't feel it. Was, I didn't feel. It. I didn't feel it was wrong. It was just such a shock when that's, it was actual words coming up, scum of the 
the earth. And it was really so powerful. Yeah. Anyway, we'll move on. <laughs> yeah. Next, please. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> well, it's out now, so there you go. <laughs> Flipping heck, she never says a word and then she comes up with all this stuff. It's like, oh my God. Well, you never, you never know what's going to happen, you know, crying and expressing sadness may just simply mm -hmm. happen in a, in a meeting. Laughing, crying, like 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 it was suggested in the beginning of this meeting. Anything may happen. It's just simply no way of knowing, you know. It's it's okay. Even the sense of that ah, it's not okay that I cried in the Zoom meeting. It's it's simply what it is. You know, there's no you able to escape whatever is happening. That's just simply what is happening, and there's no you to get away from this. It's already done, so to say. And this sense of feeling not worthy, you know, may, may just simply linger on and at certain points of, it may become very intensive, maybe unbearable even for some, looking at Leela and I mean, here there was never depression, but my wife was also, it, Leela's story reminds me of my wife. She was depressed for 20 years plus medicines. I took her to all types of therapists and psychologists and we basically tried everything. And you know, it may stop, you know? that. So, you know, when w some people say, well, there's nothing to do well, at the same time, like Rose was saying, there are many things to, to do, you know, finding help may happen. There's already no separated doer. There's no one owning the depression. There's no one doing the depression at the same time, trying to get rid of a depression and trying everything to relieve this pain, this sense of unworthiness may just simply happen. I, I also would love to add uh, to this year, what's coming up is here's still, still a lot coming up. Totally out of the blue, boom. It's full on everything. Everything can come up. So I have no, really no fucking clue. There is no, no landing space here. Never a landing. It's always new and uh, yeah. And and this is in a way this booming aliveness. I'm calling this like this. And it's not nice. It's not nice. And it can be nice, but this is it. This is it. And I, I, I have no I have no drive to go into the stories and to go and oh, why is this now? What happened? It's an endless thing to do. So for me, in this directness, that's it. Boom. It's hard. Okay. Crying happens. Yeah. Yeah, and of, of course, you know sweetheart uh, you know it, it just plays differently you know the cookie may crumble yeah, of you course. know so, so trying trying to figure out you know why am i feeling unworthy is already eyeless you know this this wanting to find the source of my depression you know the, why am i feeling like this you know like reflecting on it may just simply happen automatically so yeah and simply it, automatically and this may simply stop. Yes. This loop of thoughts, ideas, wanting to know simply can stop or fade away, slowly fade away. And in the intensity of the directness of what is, in a way, it's collapsing. Slowly, maybe, or or not so slowly. Yeah, or suddenly, or, you know, it may never stop, you know? In yeah, what, yeah. Um, Wanting to know it, this is already this. There's nothing to know at the same time. That's just another knowing. There's just no way out. Yeah. So wanting to find out what this is, is already this. It's the same with wanting to find what is the, the source of my depression. 
it may just simply stop. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to find answers. No, that's it. It's already just simply full on what it is. There is nothing wrong with thoughts, ideas, nothing. It's just what is. Oh, we have somebody else eating also in meetings. Well, <laughs> cool, Matt. I'm not alone. I very much appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> I use the talks always like a dinner, like chatting with friends in a restaurant. It's so nice. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but thank you, everybody. I really ap appreciate the openness there. Patricia, Catherine, Leela, sweetheart, thank you very much for joining. Thank you, Xander. Sarah, Matt. Judith. Don, you didn't show up tonight. Hey, he, boy. You know, he, he's, he's afraid that you were going to ask him to do a one-on-one -on -one again for this. No, no, no. I'm not time. asking anymore. I'm not asking anymore. Did. <laughs> Nice for joining also, Don, sweetheart. Maybe we see you next time. Take care. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Love you all. Thank you.